in this session we are going to discuss next important grammar chapter that is phrases and clauses so friends in standard fit we have learned what is meant by phrase what is meant by clause in this year also we have to learn it okay let's start this lesson now before going to start this i am given i have given before mentioning the definition of it i have given one example here with this example we try to understand what is meant by clauses first of all we will discuss what is meant by clause and then we will try to discuss what is meant by phrase see the girl who is wearing the red dress is an astronaut the girl who is wearing the red dress is an astronaut this is an example you see see here the girl is an astronaut this one sentence we are getting okay we are getting the proper meaning from this statement what is meant by sentence that part already we have learned who is wearing the red dress it is also another part of the statement okay with this two part we are getting two different statements but here friends okay what is meant by clause it is a main subordinate clause and it is a main clause these are the type of clause before that i would like to explain with this example what is meant by clause a clause means a group of words making some sense and containing subject and verb look at the statement the girl the subject is the verb and the subject is the object here who is wearing the subject is wearing the verb the red dress okay we are getting subject and verb structure in both statement and that's why it is called clause clause means a group of words making some sense and containing subject and verb when we are getting subject verb structure and the statement is making some sense but not complete sense that called clause in the statement friends there are two types of clauses first one main clause that called independent clause and subordinate clause that called dependent clause what is meant by main clause it called independent clause to gain the meaning it doesn't depend upon the other statement that called main clause see who is wearing the red dress to find the proper meaning of this statement we have to depend upon the previous one that is the girl is, the girl who is wearing the red dress we are talking about that girl who is wearing the red dress and that's why it is a subordinate clause it is called dependent clause understood this so friends you understood what is meant by clause here i have given one example clause means a group of words making some sense and containing subject and verb that called clause of the statement so friends now the next part that is the phrases if you work hard you will succeed if you work hard you will succeed in this example hmm? if you work hard it is a subordinate clause you will succeed when you will succeed if you work hard it is a subordinate clause and it is main clause she also read aloud an essay that you have written that you have written is a subordinate clause and it is a main clause understood this friend okay clause means a group of words making some sense and containing subject and verb structure that called clause now we will discuss what is meant by phrase we will discuss what is meant by clause now the next part that is the phrases phrases means what a group of words that act as a part of speech it actually as a noun adjective and adverb so friends group of words okay act as a part of speech it actually as a noun adjective or adverb here i have given the dog eating this thing has soft brown fur the dog has soft brown fur we are getting here Full statement, perfect meaning. But instead of that, if I take it here, uh, eating brown biscuit, eat, eating biscuit, all these words you are getting the perfect meaning. No, it is a phrase. Okay, it is a group of word that actually act as a part of speech. It may be noun, adjective, or adverb. See here, what is the difference between phrases and clauses that I will define here? A meaningful group of word. It means clause. Clause means what? A meaningful group of word. Only a group of Eating biscuit. By these words, we are not getting the perfect meaning. And so, it is only a group of contains verbs that agree with subject. Means here, subject and verb statements we are getting in a clause, but in a phrase, 
some more subject work agreement we are not getting subject work structure. Another important difference that it stands alone for their meaning. Okay? We are not getting perfect meaning from this. That's why it is called phrasing. So friends, I hope that you understood this difference. Now I am giving you some example of this. Here I have given some examples for your better understanding. A yellow color butterfly. A yellow color butterfly. This is a phrase of words. It is a phrase. Actually, the right. Because she doesn't know anything. It is a phrase of clause. Phrase or clause. It is a clause because subject verb structure we are getting here. That's why it is. That's why it is clause. The sunlight. The sunlight phrase or clause. It is a phrase. Where we we this is the subject verb structure, and so that's why it is clause. And old pairs of jeans. And old pairs of jeans. It is a phrase here. So friends, I hope that you understood this lesson very well. Here we have completed the chapter. Okay. Remaining part, it means textual questions we have to solve. That I will give you into my next lecture. Till thank you very.